So does cold exposure work? Does it really do anything for you? Well, I'll put it to you like this. I've been doing the cold showers now for a little over a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Um, and I've been doing cold exposure outside uh, for a little bit longer than that. And I'll put it to you like this. If, if you can wake up in the morning and you just tell yourself, all right, jump in that shower and endure that cold and get through that and then immediately go into your next task, which for me is going into a workout. I have ADD. Um, you know, it's it's been something that has affected me almost, you know, my entire adult life. And I've noticed that for myself in this past... Sorry, I got Sweetie Petey at my feet over here. Um, say hi, Sweetie Petey. Say hi, buddy. ADD, told you. Um, but... Uh, if I can wake up in the morning, jump into that shower, knock that out, go straight into my workout, it, it establishes this pattern, this habit for me of just going directly into my next task. Not to mention I'm not getting tired. Um, if, if you can, if you can endure that cold, you know, you're, you're literally getting in there every morning and for the first 30 seconds, it is, it's, it's hell, you know, I mean, like you, you are every, every urge in your body is telling you get out of that and you push through it and, and then you're, you're almost reveling in it, or at least it's, that's what's been happening with me is you, you feel the sensations. I, I, I can't explain them. I mean, like without sounding inappropriate, they are almost, um, I'll just say they're very invigorating, you know? So, um, so there must be some kind of like, you know, neural pathway that, that connects that part of your body to some more other pleasurable things that you experience in life, you know? But, um, but yeah, I've noticed that throughout my day, um, I, you know, with, with a crash in dopamine, you tend to shy away from these tasks that you have to do. It's, it's like, uh, eh, I don't really want to do that. And so you, you find yourself getting more and more diverted, uh, and distracted. But I had a pretty long day yesterday. I want to say I worked pretty much from, from 9 a.m. till um, at least 11 p.m. last night with not many breaks in between, none at all actually, and I was able to stay on task. So to answer the question, does cold exposure work? Um, for me, in my instance of, you know, normally suffering from a dopamine crash in the middle of the day, from getting a lot of distractions, um, you know, energy crashes, things like that, Absolutely, yes. 